Blood Labs come to Germany in search of a man who hopes to find a cure to every parent's nightmare. Puking kid in the back seat. Luckily for his sister, this little kid made it to a convenient tree. But for every escape, there are at least two puked on seats. The man who hopes to keep the cars of the world free of the smell of month old puke is Dr. Ralph Anken, a zoologist from Hohenheim University in Stuttgart with a passion for gastronomy. And it's by cutting up fish that's led him to his theory as to why some people spray the back seat and others don't. Well, basically it's these bones, but precisely it's stones what we do have in our head. Dr. Ankin's theory is that tiny stones found in the inner parts of the ear of not just fish but humans could be the culprit. When he's not embarrassing diners in posh restaurants, Dr. Ankin and his colleagues can be found doing much the same thing in his labs, uncovering the mysteries of motion sickness by dissecting chilled fish. Well, actually, what Miriam is doing is uh, she's dissecting very tiny stones from calcium carbonate from the ear of a little fish. The team knows that the tiny stones are attached to little hairs connected to sensory cells within the inner ear. Um. When the fish moves, gravity acting on the stones helps the fish sense up and down, even in the dark. We're going to remove the brain because the organ of balance is located at both sides. And I wonder if this could be already one of these stones. Is it? It yes. has been. Okay, there was it. This was one of our stones. Great. The chilled fish have three of these stones attached to hairs in their inner ears, which help maintain their balance. Humans have a similar system, except we have hundreds of these tiny stones attached to two separate patches of hairs in our inner ears. To create motion sickness in his fish, Dr. Ankin takes them on the equivalent of a very long car journey by spinning them in a centrifuge. When they stop spinning, some fish seem to settle quickly, while others keep on spinning, the fish equivalent of motion sickness. What Dr. Ankins found was that fish with ear stones of different sizes were more likely to suffer from motion sickness compared to fish whose stones were similar in size. And he believes it's the same for humans. Well, because these stones may vary in their size and in their weight between the left and the right inner ear. So there are also the signals to the brain different between left and right. And in particular situations, like in a car or in a ship, this simply makes a problem and you get motion sick. To compensate for confusing signals coming out of our ears, we use our eyes. But when our eyes become confused, then our balance is affected. But if our visual system is upset too, say by the rapidly moving horizon during a car journey, our brain can no longer cope. The result? Well, we all know what happens. Mm -hmm.